tell y'all thank you for stopping by don't forget i need y'all to do one favor for me push the dial of sharing and subscribe to my channel because this week i get out so people would know who i am by y'all selecting it i really appreciate and thank y'all for helping me to get the word out that that my channel is of existence. I appreciate y'all doing that for me because it's so important because that's how YouTube will share it if they feel like people are interested. You know how that goes. So push that down for me. So what we're gonna talk about, I asked the angels, what do they would be important for us to know about the 27th to the 31st? I asked them of July, 2020, what we need to, that would help us we are daily work that we need to be prepared for. So we're gonna start with the 27th. The first card that came up was this impartiality card. This card is kind of, um, y'all excuse me, I'm using this for my stand. <laughs> so if y'all can see it, I'm trying to make sure everybody can see it. I put it in there because I might use him as my holding it. Okay. For instance, impartiality. Uh, we are going to um, sometimes partiality is a different uh, impartiality. Okay, here we go. This card right here represents, it says a quiet to lead I quietly listen, allowing you to color your own palace. In other words, you're trying to rediscover yourself, rediscover your path. You're trying to change your outlook and what you feel and got to say. But there's nothing wrong with that. But sometimes we forget that our... Just a second, y'all. I had to, to make sure everything, the lighting was okay. It's because I want everybody to be able to see me and hear me. But anyway, the first card is partiality. This card represents, uh, basically, you're taking an impartial look at your situation. The actions here to listen and observe. If I step back from my present situation, what do I see? Can I be neutral? Is what you're asking yourself. Neutral position allowing things to unfold, standing in another shoes, in somebody else's shoes, uplifted communication. Basically, the key words is guide, open-minded, and framing this. You get your impartialities you need to work out, and you have some impartialities going on, and you need to analyze your situation, you need to look at your situation before you fin to paint your whole picture because what you're seeing, what I get from this, you ain't seeing it right. So they want you to make sure before you do it, the angel said, look at it thoroughly. The next card came for the 27, but it was upside down. It says all must have prizes and it's uh, trying to please everyone. You're trying to please everyone. Um, it says all must have prizes. And you know, that's really, a lot of people are not, everybody's not gonna get the prize. There's only the people that do the great job and the work gonna get the prize. That's the one that gets rewarded, that goes that extra mile. But this card was upside down, y'all. So we're gonna read the definition clearly, knowing what is best for you, refusing to praise or to give energy away where it is not warranted. Easily choosing between what is better for you and what will not serve you. Being more concerned with honesty and truth than keeping everyone happy. You're trying to find your own truths. You're trying to see clearly in a situation that bet suits you. You're refusing to praise or give energy away to something that's not with no warranty. In other words, if it's a waste of your time, it is what it is. You ain't you ain't messing with that waste of time. You're just not. Okay. 
the next card you came up was the Ace of Coins, and it was upside down, y'all, for my Tauruses. Prosperity with happiness, misused wealth, wasted money, corruption by money, mislining and greed, fool gold. In other words, you used the money that was given to you unjust. You didn't use it wisely. So now you got a problem with money, and it's just really kind of... Uh, making you difficult. Just remember, we're in this time where we got to save every penny, Taurus. And we don't want to, but we have to. Remember that. Okay, let's put these back over there in that pile. Let's start with the next day is the 28th. And the card that came up first was the Quest card. Okay. Uh, basically, you're on a, uh, it's like a quest. You're determined to find the correct path that you want to take because you, you're going through a confusing time. There's two possibilities and you see it, but which one should you take? It says, when I am somewhere else, my life will have meaning. You're wishing to be somewhere else and you think you don't have meaning, but you do. Okay. It says you may be a quiet, you may be quiet, that is unnecessary. Allow yourself to space for self-discovery. It's time to take risks. Where in my life do I need to walk my talk? Being open to wisdom, imagination, dangerous commitments to your path. You're going to need courage. You're going to have to journey and you have to seek answers. So you're going to need meditations. Before you go down and out, you meditate on what you should do before you do it. Ask the heavens of, to help you and the angels to help you make the right decision because sometimes you need help. When we refuse to get help, that's when the problems come down. Yeah. And we don't want to refuse nobody's help. Right now, it's not good. Okay, now we got the card that says, Lend the way. Be a leader. Show others how it's done. You can help others. In other words, if you would just stop thinking about your own personal problems and look at the real approach to things that you can help people instead of being that way, it will all work out. But first, you got to believe it. And that's a lot of our problems. We don't feel like it will work out, but it will. It says, the definition is called, it's time to step into leadership role. Others are looking to you to solve problems or show them how to work through an emotional situation. Helping others by showing charm what needs to be done, not by telling them what to do. Calm your emotions, ground and center yourself so you can be great, be greater service to others. You cannot help others overcome emotional distress until you have learned how to calm your own feelings. Be steadfast, strong, and encourage others by your own calm example. In other words, you need to be example to people so they can go in the right direction of what they should be doing. Because you can be an example because the angels, and they see your potential that you have, Tauruses. The next card, you got the Ten of Swords. And this says ruin, pain, affection, sadness, mental anguish, disgust. Solitude, tears, misfortune, trouble, disappointment, grief, and sorrow. There's a lot that you could be faced with. Uh, some ruins to where money is a problem, keeping a home, be in pain every day. Taurus, um, you're going to your sadness and your mental anguish, the, the, the tears coming from nowhere, grief, disappointment, trouble with disappointments and grief and sorrow. Could be some, some people getting hurt or passing away. This is going to be a because you're going to need all the strength you can have to deal with this week. For what I get out of that, okay. Now we're going to the 29th. We're going to see what's going on with the 29th. What card came up? This card, growth. Okay, as you can see, all the stuff growing in your house. You know, you you want to see growth and in your and prosperity in your your home, your relationship, and your life. But you got to remember, you got to put your efforts in too, Taurus. Sometimes we get stuck up in our what well, people should know. Some first of all, you need to open your mouth. 
because people can't tell, won't know what you want until you open your your chaps, you know. But sometimes we keep our chaps closed, and that's not the thing to do. Not saying anything or letting people know how you feel or that you want to grow, if you wanted all this and to get it. And the key thing to this is your message is best expressed when you are un when you awkwardly when you feel awkwardly okay it says grass says break away it may be time for a change of sororities visit for foreign countries embark on new enterprises to learn or learn a skill most important to grow so you've been thinking about where you want to go what you, where you want to the growth that you want to master in your life you want to master a lot, Taurus, and you really got it on your mind that you want to be, you want to put energy on what's going to be best to finish. If this is young people, you're trying to find out what direction you want to take. It says, what have I outgrown? Am I willing to become independent? That's what you got to add. Taking a stand, living your truth, lack of safety, clashing values, teaching by example. And the key word is warrior, peace, and courage. You need to have courage and warrior and peace. And remember this, it's all going to work out, Taurus. First of all, you got to believe that. Destiny is going to work out for you. Okay, the next card, it says, All in the Golden Afternoon. Inspiration, creative sparks, imagination, conception. All in the Golden Afternoon. You... You, you're trying to change your perspective of what you're seeing. And I don't blame you because you're seeing gold if you put it in the right thing. But sometimes you do know you can overthink your path to where you feel like it's not getting accomplished. So basically definition of this card, it says take time to create. Imagination, idea, inspiration takes hold. Talents and abilities a new touch down in your life. Get ready. Get ready for the excitement that you're going to bring to your life because you're going to get that solved all in one afternoon because your mind is, you don't like to be looking wrong. Taurus hates it. So they're going to try everything in the matter to master this this week. The, the next card you got was the nine of coins. It says accomplishment, discernment, discreditation, foresight, safety, produce material welling, love of natural shelter environment causes exploration. In other words, you need to be stop the discernment decree. You you your foresight on your safety. You need to really focus on the things that that's going to be that's going to utilize you and your safety to stay safe because your mind is everywhere and you got to stop it Taurus. You got to stay in one spot. Okay, the next card we're going to this day is the um, the 30th, okay? The next card for the 30th that's here, gossip. All gossip is on you. People are so gossiping about you. You're drawing people to you, Taurus, with your, um, you know, hey, with your interesting step. You know you're interesting when people have to gossip about you. Just put it this way. When they're gossiping about you, uh, they're saying things. You take it as a compliment. Don't take it as a shoot down because you wish you could be me. And that's what the problem is. With Tor when people start gossiping, they ain't got nothing better else to do. Their life is unhappy. So they want you to be unhappy. So they're going to talk about you to make themselves happy. Remember that. And it says, I never met a person I didn't like. That's what they gossiped that they, they, you didn't like. Um... But it says you need to appreciate the difference is key. Appreciation is the key. This card is warning that you may lose a viable relationship if you do not appreciate what you have. Comments about producing and misunderstandings and what I'm resisting. Okay, basically freedom, dance, and honorings. You know, you basically got to stop talking about your relationship to other people or putting your relationship down to other people because that's what's going to break relationships up because they, they hear saying, then they hear about it and it's going to blow it out of proportion. Don't let that happen this week. But it sounds like somebody is all into your Kool-Aid. 
when you tell somebody something, it's interesting. See how they standing and waiting. They was like, yeah, she giving us all the dirt. Don't do that to yourself because people ain't got nothing better to do with their life but gossip. And if you're that interesting, give them a high five. Tell them thank you for looking because it made me realize how important I am. <laughs> That's what you do, Taurus. Okay, now you got this. Use your time well. Make every moment, make every moment count. Make every moment count. But this card was upside down. Okay, so we're going to look it up. Use your time well. Okay, 80, and it was upside down. Okay. In the reverse, it says, being available to one and all. Exalting yourself by answering questions that are not asked with the right intentions. Squandering your presence time, presence time, lack of appreciation for your time. Being prepared to marry yourself to help others, feeling helpless like the victim of time, spending time on unsolvable problems, having little impact due to your time being wasted, feeling pointlessly harsh. In other words, you're wasting your time is what they're trying to say. You're exalting yourself by answering too many stupid questions that people come to you. You know how people come to you. Oh, I see you down the street. And uh, did you remember me? you like, dummy. If I remembered you, I would have said something. But sometimes people want you to remember that time and the place. But sometimes we don't remember on it. Let's go to our next card. The next card was the Eight of Cups, but it was upside down. It says, effort continues until full success is attained festival joy gaiety feasting and pleasure on holidays look like um there's gonna be some pleasure festivals you're gonna be attending gonna get invited to some and it's gonna be feasty and joy it's gonna bring excitement you might get invited to something that you're really gonna like doing the next score is six of uh cups memories past influence things that have vanished childhood pause uh, faded images, faded images, longer reflections on the past, bringing insight. In those words, you are memorizing your past and you want to remember the good things so you can keep your mind on a positive level. There's nothing wrong with that because we all need some positivity in our life because when you're dealing with gossipers, you're dealing with people that you can't trust, you're telling all your business and they tell everybody. And you best believe, if you're talking about your man, there's always somebody that want to, will probably sleep with your man if they could get away with it. Because you invited them because you're talking about how good they was or what they was. Ladies, stop that gentleman too. Because you're making that person be more interesting to them to pursue who you with. So that came to my mind. Don't know why. But basically, be careful on that, y'all. Let's go to the 31st. Uh, basically, it's saying we're going to need some prayer because there's a lot of things. And we get we get out a glass of lemonade, and that's a revelant. That lemonade is relaxing because I remember I used to drink it when I was a kid. When I was mad, my grandma used to bring me a glass of lemonade with some with a couple of sides. And I used to be cool. I said, thank you, Grandma. And I've missed those things, believe it or not. But okay, my prayers are answered. All prayers are answered. Don't think they're not. They're listening to you. It just doesn't happen when you want it to happen. Cool lemonade is a reminder that there are always a plan. If you were sidetracked from the path, then you will be guided back to your true calling. Remember that you're going to be guided back to the same place you started from. So don't put yourself in there if you feel like... Uh, you're going to do repeat the same thing. You're going to be told the same thing over and over again. It says, if most powerful thoughts are a form of prayer, how can I live in an active prayer? Uh, you answer the question. And then it says, all prayers are answered. Following, following where life leads being of surface fulfillment. You need clarity, destiny, your destiny and architect disabilities. Um, you have a lot going on that you can do. You just got to believe. And a lot of us, we get to, we need prayer. We get, people get on our nerves from gossiping. So we go to the Almighty to solve it and he will. The next card we have, uh, you're falling. It says the unknown, deceit, 
change. You 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 feel like you're you're falling down because you want change to come just like that. So you feel like well, it should be here because I put my fingers up there, and there it is. Come on, Taurus, it don't work like that. The definition to this, the end better, the end of what once was, the letting go of who you were, and rebirth into a new life. Unknown outcomes, complete imagination in the process of change. In other words, you're trying to change the whole person that you are because you feel like it's a need. The person, you, you ain't getting what you want with the same person. So you're going to change a new path towards. You're working on getting a new you, getting a new traction going on. And there's nothing wrong with that with my Tauruses. But this is the 30th. Here we go. Well, we got the three of coins, great skills in trade of work, mastery, perfection, artistic abilities, re own rank power, who works in great demand. You you have a, there's some of y'all that work in great deal to command. So we need to keep up the work. And then you got the chariot. Okay, uh, fortune, uh, major effort, possible voyage or journey, escape, rushing to the decision, trouble, adversity, conflicts, influence, turmoil, vengeance. Be careful with you, who you hang with and who you go with. Because some people ain't got your best injury. It's, 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 they're not at your plan. And you're thinking they are, Taurus. And I'm going to tell you an example. Do your friends. Check your friends out, Taurus. Because your friends are so jealous of you. And everything you do, they're just waiting to take one little cap and take it after you. You know what I'm saying? They're just after you. Okay. And then we have, I wanted to look at what the um, the planets had to say. In the card, it says, energize, comfort, force yourself. You need to force yourself to relax and be comfortable because sometimes we don't feel comfortable in where we're at. The drive for the confronting of actions. Remember, your actions can lead to you in a deep crap. You just be taking your crap on yourself, literally. Okay, signs. Your sign came up, okay, it says cancers this week for this day. Your feelings, attitude from the past about use your intuition. You need to use your intuition, and your intuition is going to come to protect you. Your attitude from past about resulting from the history of. You, you have, you're having past problems, past moments, and you need to stop that. Don't let the past rule the, uh, your life. And Taurus, I got to call this. I stayed a little longer, but I want to tell y'all thank you for joining me. I hope you liked it. Just, but basically, you got a lot of jealous people this week. So, Taurus, watch your back. Because there's always somebody that just wants to you give them an opportunity. They're going to take them out. And just think about your path because you know where you're going. Just believe that you know where you're going. Have faith in yourself because there's always a way, Taurus. Don't never let none of this stop you. Because what you're seeking, you have the answers right in front of you. You first don't need no answer because you know the answers. And uh, that's all I have to say. And thank y'all for joining me and push that down. I really appreciate it. I need y'all to get me out there so I can, people can see my channel so we can get this going, this flow so people more than just people, I can tell more than one person. And I want to tell y'all, thank you for joining me, Taurus. Remember, this is for the 27th to the 31st of July, 2020. Peace out. Ain't nothing but love for y'all.